Okay, so let's begin to increase our COBOL storage capacity. So to do this, um, once you pull out the COBOL original SD card from the back of the Clara, you will need to create an image of that SD card. Um, I've wondered why you can't just copy and paste it to a new SD card, but apparently you can't do that. So you need to create an image, then which we will we grab the image and put it into the larger capacity SD card. In my case, I'm going to be using 128 gigs. Doing this is great because if your COBOL ever break or has issues, you can always um, you know, reboot with the original SD card and start all over again. And make sure that after all this is done, this whole process, make sure you store the original SD card in a safe place. Okay, so we need to go to vconsole.com slash download. This is where we're going to get our imaging, creating, and writing software. Go to support, and, so and then software, click it, and you'll be brought to this software page. Scroll all the way down. You download these two files, flash drive image creator and flash drive image writer. At any time during the imaging process, um, something goes wrong, and which happened to me was uh, it, my 128 gig SD card was reduced down to 8 gigabytes. So um, I was googling and found that the only way to fix this is to go to sdcard.org and download this SD memory card formatter which restore it back to full capacity. Um, using the Windows formatter will not work. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Put in the card and just quick format, label it and just go. And then when it's done, it will give you this successfully completed. File system is X fat and I got back my capacity. The only thing I've noticed was with Kobo readers, I was googling and it says the file system it reads is FAT32 or well, this is an X fat so we'll see how we go. Once you've downloaded the image creator, so we plug in the Kobo SD card. The image destination was, I've put it to my desktop for now. I've named it as Kobo image and the image length was the entire drive. Hit the create image button and you wait. It took me about 3 minutes. And then when you're done, you will say image was successfully created. Once you have downloaded the image writer, um, just plug in browse and lo load up the Kobo image that you have created and destination drive is your SD card. And just hit the right image. It took me about 6 minutes. And then when it's done, you will say return successfully. I'm going to pull this down here so I can have a better look. So image. Cobo image was what I created and renamed. Browse destination was um, the 128 gig and then just press right. So now we have to use this software partitionwizard.com and you go to the free partition wizard, download it so we could um, resize the new capacity of the SD card because initially it was 8 gig now we've jumped up to 108 gig so we just need to fill up that remaining space so click on that click on that let it load loading 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 if it asks you to format no you lose everything you've done at this point so look for that uh, okay, okay it's here so it's 128. I don't know what that is. I'll leave it alone. It's the root. It's the recovery. This is the one where you store all the books. So there's only 6.8 gig. And all this unallocated space, it just won't be used unless you merge it. So we'll go on this partition here. Right click. Go all the way to extend. And then you say, uh, yeah. So how much free space you take? You want to take the whole lot. So pull, drag it all the way to the end, and OK. And now you can see it's taken up the whole space. So you've got 118 gigs of space for all your books. OK, I'll fail to mention, once you extend it, you need to press the apply button to save the changes. OK, and the other thing I noticed was that it's actually file system to FAT32, which is um, Perfect for the Kobo reader.
Okay, once you apply and save the changes in the partition wizard, um, safely eject the SD card and put it back here and you have finished upgrading the storage of the Cobalt Reader. Alright, now we're going to bypass registration by editing the SQL database. Okay, first thing, once you've um, upgraded the SD card and put it back, turn it back on and um, you go to the setup and then click don't have Wi-Fi and it asks you to connect to your computer. Once you've plugged in the Cobalt to your computer, you should see this. Cobalt Reader, um, these folders. If you don't see this folder, Cobalt folder, probably try View and Hidden Items. Uh, it just popped up for me, so it may not pop up for you. Um, Cobalt Reader, uh, this is what you need to edit. This is the SQL database, which is a programming language, and I do not know anything about, but you know, um, Google was your friend. So let's me, let me show you the link to get a SQL um, editor. Alright, so navigate to sqlite.org downloads. Um, you go to the download page, you want to go to... For me, it's Windows. Pre-compiled binaries for Windows. Um, this is the one you need. SQL tools. So you download that. You will come as a zip file. And then inside the zip file is this folder. And these are the three files that are in here. So the one you need is this one, SQLite. So just copy and put it inside this folder, the dot cobalt folder of your SD card. Paste. Okay, so it's now in the same folder as the cobalt reader SQL database. Just click it on and then you just type dot open. And then you type in the SQL database, SQLite, enter, then type in the insert into command. The table is called user. Then you put in the name and the column. Then type in the values uh, command. Put the name as one and put the ID, the column as blank and then put a semicolon, enter and when you do that, you should see these two files appear that means that it worked so now you safely eject the COBOL reader now okay, so you unplug it and um, Oh, okay, there you go. Ta-da! So we have bypass registration and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Oh, I failed to show you the onboard storage which you can see here is 118 gigabytes from the 128 gig SD card. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys.